We've got some more changes and updates coming to the subtitle edit burn-in preview window and I'm really excited about this and it's good to see that our feedback is getting some kind of movement. Now, uh, in the latest video I did about this, it was with beta 125 and this uh, is uh, like uh, when you go to generate video with burn-in subtitle, uh, then the preview window, you have to click on this to have to see what is going on. So if I click on preview, then we get this good looking interface that looks like our video. So you can easily see what your subtitles look like. And because we have an opaque background ETC, it looks really, really good. And uh, you can make your changes and then click on preview again. So uh, my issue has been uh, having to click the preview all the time. So this is kind of solved, uh, still in beta uh, in the latest version. Let me just maximize it. Help about beta 129. And let's go to generate video with band in subtitle. If I click on that, that's what we have for the new interface. If I maximize it, we've got the settings that you can set here uh, for the different options. Uh, looks really, really good. So uh, kind of uh, something I've noticed is that the subtitles uh, are kind of not appearing, obviously still in beta. Uh, maybe not still not reading or something uh, but I like to see the kind of result we'll get once this is uh, fixed uh, maybe one final thing uh, to this particular change is that uh, you see this particular preview window looks more uh, looks more like this so if we can get this other button here to maximize this particular burning preview window uh, I think it would be good because everything here looks identical I don't I don't see a difference with the main uh, preview for the sub uh, sub for subtitle edit interface and this burning so if you can actually just get this maximize for this particular one that would be really awesome because uh, my assumption is if we change like a font let's say we go with something like Arial uh, right there and then you say maybe you wanted to align right or even actually boost the font to like uh, 70 depending on what you're working with then either clicking out or clicking on an apply button is going to uh, give us the changes in real time this is going to really save us a lot of time especially when you're burning in a ton of subtitles and need to see what uh, is happening and the good thing is that uh, uh, the burning window actually remembers the settings that you used so uh, that's highly welcome for this new update to the new burning preview window looks really good and hopefully uh, by the time the uh, beta release comes out of uh, beta in August then we're going to uh, have a good product so you can always download the latest beta from the releases section and this as of eight hours ago it is this particular one where we have the preview window here but as I've mentioned we cannot uh, kind of preview the subtitles uh, not sure why they're not reading although they're there. So that's it for this video and more on the changes that are coming to the burning preview window and it's good to see that we have the preview in just that interface. Can we just have now this kind of maximize button to see how everything is going to look like. That's it for this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.